<laughs> Mwah. You want to learn how to make vegan prosciutto out of rice paper? That's what we're doing now at our prosciutto party. This is what the prosciutto looks like. Mm. Maybe you can have melon and basil with prosciutto. I'm going to show you how. Roasted asparagus with prosciutto. <laughs> the prosciutto possibilities are endless. Mm. That's a good one. <laughs> To start out, since I'm gonna be wrapping both melon and asparagus, I'm gonna get the asparagus in the oven, roasting while I make the prosciutto. I love springtime when all this beautiful produce starts popping up at the farmer's markets or your stores. Now, what am I doing? Why am I breaking asparagus like this? So, this is really, really tough. And to find out what that breaking point is that separates the tough part from the tender part, you just have to hold the asparagus in your hand and it will naturally break where the hard part and soft parts meet. Okay, so that's what I do. And it's different on every single one. I'm gonna sprinkle these with a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put them in my little easy bake oven. I'm going to set that to about 400 degrees and we'll let it bake. Now we're going to get started on the prosciutto made out of, oops, made out of rice paper. Do you believe this? I mean, it's really, really fantastic. This is such a, such a versatile item. And this prosciutto, I have fooled so many people with. Starts out with a cup of broth. Now this is made from my brilliant bouillon. So if you haven't seen that episode, check it out. This is homemade bouillon, which I reconstituted with a cup of warm water, to which I'm gonna add a quarter cup liquid aminos, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of liquid smoke. If you have beet juice, you're gonna add a quarter cup to this and then you're ready to get started with a marinade. Now, if you don't have beet juice and all you have are some beets, you have to put it in the blender. So I'm actually gonna put this whole mixture into the blender and blend it so that it turns nice and pink. The beet juice is just for the color. You could add red food coloring as well if you like, but uh, it's just as easy to do this. All right, so if you're gonna do this in the blender, don't put it in the container first. I'm gonna add the beets. You need about two thin slices, a few cubes, it's all you need. Okay, a little culinary magic again. And I'm using a sieve just to make sure I don't get little beet flecks in this, because that's a dead giveaway that that's what I used, right? So now we're gonna take the rice paper, and I like to put two, three, four of these in here at the same time. Make sure that it's fully submersed. You can get a container that will be a little bit bigger than the rice paper that is good, or you can just make do with whatever you have. And we wanna get that nice and soft. So you're gonna let it soak for a minute. And then what you wanna do is arm yourself with plenty of olive oil. So I've got some olive oil right here. Because as you know, if you've ever worked with rice paper, it sticks to itself and to everything else. And the only way to keep it into single sheets is by sort of macerating the outside of it in oil. So we're gonna use olive oil, and this will also give it sort of that fatty sensation that prosciutto probably has. I've never had it because I've been a vegetarian since I was 12 years old, but um, uh, so it's just one of those things that, you know, I used to wonder, the idea of prosciutto with melon, what could that possibly be like? Well, I know now, and uh, it's, it's a lovely thing, especially if it's a compassionate version made not from animals, but from plants. So you're gonna take out one sheet at a time, and sort of drape it over your hand. Dip the other hand in some oil and rub the entire surface like that. Flip it over and rub the other surface with olive oil. And then you can just stack it on top of the other one 
and prevent it from sticking all together. So you're going to want to work relatively quickly. I forgot that I had this rice paper bowl. So the, oh. what the, the way the Vietnamese do it is they have the rice paper right here. And then you fill this up, this part up with, uh, with warm water. And then you just kind of dip it and twirl it. Uh, unfortunately, there's not enough marinade to do that because the marinade would only cover about that much of it. But if you're making enough of these sheets for a party, you could use one of those. Okay, so it's not quite not quite pliable or soft yet, but it's still okay because as I'm applying oil, it's going to uh, it's going to soften up. And this recipe will make about 50 sheets of, I think about 50 of these. It's a lot of prosciutto actually. It's such a wonderful thing for a party. I mean, I just love having, entertaining in the vineyard, having people over and passing out fancy little appetizers of uh, melon or asparagus wrapped with this stuff. And people are amazed because it looks like it's something that would have taken so much time to make. But hey, I can't have a good life if I'm slaving all day in the kitchen, right? It's gotta be easy. Ready to rock and roll. So I got my melon here. Yeah, you know, the whole idea of prosciutto with melon, it always just seemed so weird to me. Um, but here I am going for it. It's very Italian. And if it's Italian, it's got to be good, in my opinion, to some degree. So I'm just going to take the skins off the melons. The season's first cantaloupes. This is so exciting. I'm going to be going to Tuscany in May, leading one of my vegan tours. And uh, I think I, and I teach cooking classes there as well too when I'm there uh, on these tours. I think I'm going to um, make prosciutto and feed some Italians and see what they have to say. Uh, so it, it, veganism is just really it's come such a long ways in Italy. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Food scraps all for the, the piggies and the other animals. I'm going to take the seeds out and I'm going to slice these. All right, so typical is prosciutto with melon. What I found was that if we add a piece of basil, it's even better. So I'm going to take the prosciutto now. And if I did this right, it won't have stuck together. I gotta find the top layer. There we go. And pry it off. And what I found is that this is a lot of prosciutto. It's got a lot of smoky flavor. So I'm gonna actually cut it in half. And if you hear background noise, that's my daughter Cammy talking on the phone in the next room. So I'm going to add the basil and we are just going to wrap this up. How does that look? This is one of those fancy looking appetizers that comes together in just a matter of minutes. Looks so beautiful, so fresh. Really captures the flavors of springtime, of summer all the fresh produce, just with a little bit of something that adds that richness, that umami, the little bit of saltiness, smokiness, which is what prosciutto is. We have our vegan alternative. That is easy to make, delicious, and allows you to live the good life. How can you have a good life if others are suffering? because of our activities. Of course, we have to enjoy life. We want to wake up every day thinking, what can I do today uh, to live life in a way that is enjoyable for all, not just me, but for others as well. What can I do to make the world better? Which is kind of a hokey expression, but it really is something, you know, that's what we're all here for. We are all here 
to live, to find and live our truth and be the best humans that we can be. Okay, so let's do some asparagus now. I only need a quarter of a sheet, so that even goes further. And to roll it, don't actually roll the prosciutto because it's really slippery. You roll the asparagus, and that's the little trick that I have learned. Roll the asparagus itself, hold the ends of the asparagus. I have to do a couple more because in, in uh, Japanese you can't do anything with fours because four stands for death. It's the same character as shi, which means death. So you can do five. You can do four and a half, but you can't do four. <laughs> I might have said soy. I might have said soy sauce, but you know what? If you don't have liquid aminos, you can use soy sauce. The liquid aminos is a little bit smokier, but if you don't have it, go with soy sauce or tamari. That's okay too. I think my prosciutto platter is ready. Stop eating waffles and come and have prosciutto. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize I was going to be on film. All well, of a we're always on film. <laughs> okay, you gotta live the good part. I am just surrounded by love, can't you tell? <laughs> All right, so let's have some prosciutto. We're having a prosciutto party. Mm. A prosciutto party. Okay, okay, that's not gonna be. <laughs> that's not gonna carry that. <laughs> so good. What do you think? It's so yummy. Cruelty free prosciutto? Mm. Come on. <laughs> Are they Korean pizza? Ah! <laughs> Argon, we made prosciutto, and not from a piggy, not from you, but from rice paper. Oh, is that yummy? That's so good. I have one melon piece with prosciutto for each piggy. So I gotta find the others. We have to share. We got barn activities going on. Yeah. So uh, what are we doing, making an office? Animal care room, very cool. So, let's see, I saw Ginsburg over here. Ginsburg! Oh, look at Ginsburg. <gasps> look at that, Ginsburg! <gasps> oh, look at that. So Ginsburg actually was rescued when she was, uh, she fell off a transport truck and she was only about 25, 30 pounds. Found running around, there you go. That's melon with prosciutto. Yeah, not made from piggies, but from rice paper. She was found running around a highway near Sacramento, which is really crazy. And now she lives the vegan good life here at Rancho Compassion. Oh, we have to give a piece to Goober who's taking a nap. Goober may not be interested, he's napping. And so are the other piggies. Goober! I guess he prefers his nap. He prefers his nap, oh well. They like to, oh, there's Gamber. He's saying, give, give me more. This is Gamber and she was an FFA piggy. Oh, do we have other piggies in there? When you snooze, you lose, so they're losing. So I'll leave these two for them for later. Hi, Mr. Argon. Did I give you a nice piece of melon with vegan prosciutto? I did, yes, and you liked it. You liked it. Oh, that's so yummy. Lick the plate clean, it's already clean. <gasps> She loves it. Oh, look at that. There was a little residual prosciutto flavor. Isn't that yummy? Oh, that's so yummy, huh? Well, thank you for joining this week's episode of The Vegan Good Life. I'll see you again soon.